Good afternoon. It's lunchtime. And what do pizza and the internet have in common? Hmm. Delivery, of course. The very first pizza delivery is attributed to Queen Margarita of Savoy in 1889. The queen fell ill and a local chef brought her a fancy dancy pizza that looked like an Italian flag. It took much longer for the trend to extend to the masses. And after World War II, American soldiers were dreaming of pizza, which led to certain cities like New York and Los Angeles to begin delivering the pizza pie. Yeah? This grew in the 1960s and restaurant owners trained employees to deliver pizza. The biggest surge in pizza delivery came in the late 1990s and the early 2000s during the widespread adoption of the internet, making it easier than ever to get a hot to taste pizza pie. Well, there's another delivery system on the rise, especially in our very large state, the delivery of data. Let's call it information. It is an access of digits that represents websites, social media, video, audio, et cetera, et cetera. I know somebody whose refrigerator is connected to the internet. Well, speeds vary. And in Maine, we have something called the Broadband Initiative. Schools and homes vary differently on their speed access. You may have noticed this in your own school. Which brings us to today. We are going to do something where we test each school's speed through an internet speed test, and then we will submit those answers. And at the end of today's uh, afternoon session, we'll present those results. Infrastructure in schools and homes and on telephone poles and in the air and underground are the difference maker between how fast a home will, will access the internet. Of course, the number of devices and what the use is can influence how fast something needs to be. One thing is for sure though, the demand is increasing daily for high speed internet access, for entertainment, for academics, for data, clickety click, for television, for audio video, for basic communication, the pandemic has taught us that high-speed access to the internet should be equitable throughout the state. Not only would this help education, but the economy. Many moved to Maine during the pandemic to work remotely. And then they said, hey, this place is beautiful. I think I'll stay here. The governor of our state has commissioned a group called Connect Maine Authority to increase the speed on the internet highway and to increase its capacity. So let's race today. Here's what you're gonna do. There's a thing called upload and download speed. How quickly you receive something as the download and how quickly you can upload a photo and send to somebody is the upload. So if you go to Google and you type in speed test and then you click on run speed test and then you take this link and enter your results we're gonna share those at the end of the afternoon sessions and there mm, might be a prize for the fastest school. Ready, set, go.